So SLM Solutions AG is a German company. We have about 300 people in northern Germany. Um, SLM Solutions North America that I work for is about 30 people here in North America. We're a subsidiary of the German parent company and SLM Solutions is entirely focused on metal additive manufacturing. So we're, a, we're an equipment manufacturer, so our main value that we add is selling a machine to somebody. Our job is really to help them to understand how the machine works, make sure again it's installed correctly, and then make sure that we're helping them to put that whole facility together, because ultimately that final part which comes out at the end of their process needs to be good, otherwise our equipment has failed. So we, uh, we work with companies around the world, of course, here in North America to assess uh, their ideas for additive manufacturing. Um, additive manufacturing gets a lot of hype, so people have a lot of ideas, and some of them are phenomenal, some of them less so. Uh, they're all phenomenal, but some of them are maybe too expensive, too difficult, maybe a different technology can be used. If there is a good idea, we have a lab in Michigan with four machines. Uh, we also have a network of service bureau, so we try to get whoever it is to actually make some pieces of metal. Because one of the great things with this technology is you can spend all day talking with someone about it, or you just go to the machine, print it out, and put it in front of them and show them. And there's an awful lot of value even if they're, maybe even if their idea isn't quite uh, fully fleshed out yet, just make something. And that really helps to put it in front of them and have, uh, have some experience with the part, be able to touch it, feel it, test it or whatever. And that helps in the process of refining the idea. Uh, we also have um, many customers who have, see the value in insourcing their supply chain. They may be making parts that aren't best suited for metal additive, that it isn't the cheapest way, uh, but it's so easy. You take the design, you support it, you send it to the machine, you hit play and you get a part out. And just being able to do that and keep that all in house so you're not sharing your designs, you're able to do it quickly, has a lot of value for a lot of customers. Our company pioneered using multiple lasers on a powder bed fusion machine. And we recently introduced 700 watt lasers versus the industry standard two or 400 watts, which give a massive increase in productivity on the machines. And every time you increase the productivity by two times, it opens up a whole new world of applications, which you couldn't do before because it was too slow, it was uneconomical. So the big thing for me in five years time is gonna be the speed of these technologies um, is going to increase, 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 and that opens up new applications, more and more new applications. And things which we couldn't dream of doing today, we'll suddenly be able to do in five years' time because it'll be economical because we'll have faster machines. And there's, there's an there's a inflection point. And where is that inflection point? You could ask 100 people and you get 100 different answers. But it's probably within five years where the speed gets to the point where suddenly it becomes a mass market. Um, type of thing and people are really using it for a large number of components and will the industry be able to keep up when that happens? It's going to be exciting to find out.